Hey guys, welcome back. This is Command Block Kid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the replace item command in Minecraft 1.14 Java Edition. So, let's get into it. In the description, there are going to be multiple time segments, since this command is pretty long and has multiple parts to it. Other than that, let's get started. In this chest here that I am currently looking at, there is nothing in it. Like so, as you can see here. And I really want to put something in it. I don't want to put something from my hotbar into this, and I don't want to use my pick block action to put something into this chest, and I really don't want to access my creative menu right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this block right here, the chest. Then I'm going to type in slash replace item. I'm going to type in block, and then I'm going to type in the coordinates of the chest. If you're looking at the chest, they'll pop up immediately. And then we're going to do, you'll see a following menu right here. We're going to type in container.0. But why does it say container.0? It's because computers always start with 0. We tend to start with 1 or negative 1. However, computers always start at 0. So while there may be 27 slots in this chest here, technically the computer reads it as like. 26 because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And then I want to put something like a barrel inside this chest. So I'm going to type in Minecraft barrel. And then we replaced a slot at the following coordinates that the chest was at with a barrel. And look at that. There's a barrel right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to replace one of my old inventory slots with a barrel or similar. What I want to do is I want to type in slash replace item entity because we're specifying not a block but an entity that could be a player, a pig, or a zombie, etc. And then we're going to do a target selector or a username. In this case I'm going to use my username. And then you'll see the same following menu here and you may be confused as to Where's the hop bar slots or where's the inventory slots? That's a bit on the tricky side. You have to actually scroll down to, see, to find it all. But scrolling may be uh, time consuming. So what you want to do is you want to type in hotbar dot. Let's do seven. That's going to do it at this slot right here. Because if, if you can see my mouse, it's right up here. Right down at the bottom at slot number eight is where it technically reads hotbar.7. Again, this is computer logic here. Then you're going to type in Minecraft and we're going to type in barrel. So now it replaced a slot on myself with a barrel. So right here in that very slot, a barrel just appeared. Now what I want to do is I want to put a crazy overpowered sword into this chest. Unfortunately, the chat bar can only hold up to 256 characters, so there's not enough space in my chat bar. So I'm going to use a trusty command block. I want to right click it, and then as you can see it's already quite advanced. I have to click approximately 11 times to get all the way back to the beginning. But nonetheless, let's get started. We have replace item, block, the coordinates of the chest, container.16, we're specifying slot 17, remember computer start at 0, and then we have Minecraft Diamond Sword. Display name. We're going to set to text instead of translate. Although you could set it, uh, this text thing right here uh, to translate if you want to. Although I'm just going to set it to text. And we're going to do Overpowered Sword. Our color is going to get set to gold. Bold is going to get set to false italic is set to true underlined will also be set to true strike through we won't be able to see it so we're going to set to false obfuscated definitely false so we can see it as well the lore is getting it set to text again you could say instead to like translate or whatever but we're going to set it to text in this case next we're going to have the actual lore no one will know what hit him the color we're going to set to dark aqua like so. 
bold is going to get set to false. Italic is going to get set to true. Underline is going to get set to false. Strike through, we want to be able to see it. So that's going to get set to false. And obfuscated, we're going to set that to false as well. Hide flags 63. Set it to 63 to hide all like modifiers such as like enchantments, attribute modifiers, unbreakable modifiers, and so forth. And there are six values that make up 63. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So add them all up together and you'll get 63. Feel free to mix and match all the values that I mentioned and you can come up with different results. The repair cost is 25, so if I were to repair this on Anvil, it would cost 25 levels for me to repair. Unbreakable, we're going to set it to 0, B. Although if I wanted it to be unbreakable, I'd change this to 1, B. I'm going to keep this at 0. Now for our favorite thing, enchantments. ID, Minecraft Sharpness, we're going to set that to level 10. Remember that in Minecraft you're able to go over the normal limits with command blocks using the give command or replace item command. ID equals knockback or whatever, level 5, comma, just remember the uh, curly brackets and the square brackets too. Fire aspect, level 5, like so. And then Minecraft sweeping, it means sweeping edge, but keep it at sweeping for now. Level 10. And then attribute modifiers. The attribute name is going to be generic movement speed, which is basically the movement speed of the entity. The name is going to be generic movement speed. The amount we're going to set to 1. Although you can set this, I recommend setting this to a decimal value. For the sake of this video, we're just going to set it to 1, which is going to be extremely fast, I'm warning you. Operation, keep this at 0. And then UUID least and UUID most, I uh, just set it to like random numbers or whatever. Swap that along these lines of what I have here, because those things are like extremely advanced. Like, I don't know how many people would understand. And then finally, we have our count, which is in a purple digit, or should I say magenta. But other than that, that is this command all wrapped up. We're going to press this button. And then inside, we have a really overpowered sword. If I hold this, whoa, I'm just like blitzing through everywhere. If I just like open this door here, you can see how fast I'm going. A bit too fast, actually. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to try to fly my way in here. Guess not. Oh, well. Anyways, that is the advanced replace item block command all wrapped up. Now what I want to do is I want to place a really overpowered sword in the last slot of my hotbar. The only downside is I can't actually fit the command inside my hotbar. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of my trusty command blocks. And I'm going to click approximately 11 times to get all the way back to the beginning. So as you can see, there's slash replace item entity this time. We're actually replacing something in my own inventory at player, which is going to be at the nearest player, which in this case is going to be me. Hotbar.8, computer logic, computer start at zero. We start at one. So technically this is hotbar slot nine, but it's eight because computer start at zero. And then we have Minecraft diamond sword for this display. And the name, I'm going to set it to name. Text, you can set this to translate if you want, but I personally prefer to set this to text. And then right here is the name, overpowered sword. Uh, color is going to get set to gold, like so. Bold, we're going to set that to false. Italic, true. Underlined, true. Strike through, false. And obfuscated, false just like that next up we have our lore which is basically the description of the item we're going to set it to text again you can set this to translate if you want but we're just going to keep it at text for the sake of this video no one will know what hit him the color we're going to set it to dark aqua 
bold is going to get set to false. Italic is going to get set to true. Underline, we're going to set that to false. Strike there, we're going to set that to false. Obfuscated is going to get set to false. Hide flags, we're going to set that to the value of 63. There are six values that make up 63. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Mix and match to hide basically the enchantments, the unbreakable thing and whatnot. But if you want to hide everything, just hit, type in 63. Other than that, we're going to head on to the next part. Repair cost is basically how much it takes to repair on an anvil. And in this case, we're going to set it to 25 to make it a really big investment. Unbreakable, we're going to set it to 0B. If I wanted to make it unbreakable, I'd set it to 1B. But for this video, I'm going to just use it to 0B. Now for our favorite part, enchantments. Or my favorite part, anyway. We have the ID, Minecraft Sharpness, level 10. Minecraft Knockback, level 5. Remember the curly brackets and the square brackets when they're needed, as well as commas. ID is Minecraft Fire Aspect, level 5. And the, I, and the final ID is Minecraft Sweeping, or that is abbreviated for Sweeping Edge, although in the game it's Sweeping. Level 10. Attribute modifiers, which is the really complex stuff you saw at the be beginning of this segment. The attribute name is going to be generic movement speed, which is basically how fast a player or entity can move. The name is generic dot movement speed, which is basically the exact same thing as back here. Amount, we're going to keep it at 1, but I personally ref prefer using a decimal value for this value here. Operation, we're going to keep that at 0. And then UUID least and UUID most, just set these two numbers similar to what we have here. Just make sure that this one here is lower than this one here. And then right here we have 1, which is basically the count, and that's in magenta or purple or whatever you call that. I hit done. I right click. I look at that. I get an overpowered sword right in my inventory. It's right there. Overpowered sword in gold underlined in italic and no one will know what hit him. So now, if I test out this command, we're gonna quickly run out the door. And as you can see, it apparently lags my game, so... because I travel super fast. So yeah, that is that command part all wrapped up. So that is it for the replace item command. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe for more tutorials on Minecraft. And I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye!